Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make reindeer out of birch logs. So let's get started. We're going to need two pieces of uh, birch. They're about two inches in diameter, you know, close enough. And the body is four inches and the head is two inches. So in this case, the head is half the uh, length. So what I'm going to do first is cut, uh, measure and drill holes for the legs and the neck. So let's start with the neck hole, because that's simple. And what I'll want to do is I'll want to get a, a drill that's about the same size as the red dogwood twigs that I'm using for the legs and the neck. So let's start, there's a, there's a knot here, and uh, if there wasn't a knot, I would just kind of drill in the same place, but since there's a knot, it gives me a good place to kind of start off, and we'll just drill straight down, just like that. And you'll notice that I've marked the drill um, a certain distance so that as I drill my holes, they'll be, they'll be the same um, depth. There I'm just cleaning that out and I'm gonna do a little test. So we'll just take one of these sticks and we'll see, yes, that goes right in. Very nice, all right, that's a little long for a neck, that's a leg. But let's talk about the legs now. So what I want to do is I need to go exactly opposite the neck hole to mark the center of the, um, of the body down on the bottom. So let's, um, let's take a look at this and I'll just kind of go straight down from there. There we go. And we'll make a little mark here. So that's close enough to the center of the body. And then what I'll do is I'll take a straight edge and I'll lay it right on that mark. We'll go straight down the body, just like that. We'll draw a line. So now we've got a line down the center of the body to do the leg holes, I want them evenly spaced to the left and to the right of the uh, center. So I'll take one inch and I'll come in from the edge, maybe a half an inch or so, and I will make a mark one inch to this side, and, well, a half inch to this side, sorry about that and a half inch to this side to make those one inch apart on either side of that center line. And let's, uh, let's drill that. And I, I wanna go as perpendicular as possible because I, I don't want the legs to be crossed, obviously, and I don't want them to be too splayed. So let's... There we go, and there's 90 degrees, they're going in. Reverse that, and just clean that out a little bit. And we'll do this side as well. So I'm kind of starting in, and then I wanna go straight up and down. He said. <laughs> here. And we'll go straight up and down. So I'm doing that so they're not splayed when I put them in. Let me just check this. So here's this hole. Wait a second. Seriously? There we are, that's gonna be pretty tight. That goes in, and this one goes in, so they're fine. 
Let me just try cleaning this out again a little bit. move on to the back legs. Yep. All right. So we've got our center line. Mark it at the half inch. Go about a half inch in from the edge. Mark it there. And mark it here. And here we go. One more test here. I want to get we know that the it's, it's a little tight, so all right. Wow. Well, we know we're going to have to cut those a little bit thinner, and that's okay. We'll talk about that in a second. So there's our our four holes for the legs. There's our hole for the for the body. I mean for the head. So let's go to the to the head. So what we'll want to do here is we'll want to drill out just below on the bottom for the for the neck. Got another knot here. So we'll drill that out. Do another little test here. All right, that goes in. That's good. And then what we'll do again is we'll trace from the top center right down, make a mark. And since we're not going too far here, we'll just drill a hole right there. So, hole for the neck, holes for legs, holes for the neck, and this is the hole for antlers. So, let's put the legs on first, and um, what we're going to do is we are going to get four twigs. These are the redwood twigs. Mm -hmm. and redwood, uh, red dogwood, and, you know, we want these, we'll get these skinnier ones. You want them about the same length, since they're legs, and we'll, looking for the skinnier end. There. All right. So here's four legs. Let's ream these guys out a little bit. Whoop, that was exciting. Let's put this back in. Things don't always work on when you're on live, but that's all right. So let's pull that out and let's clean this one out. All right, so legs, don't fail me now. There's one.
There's two. Oh. I'm going to try cleaning that one out a little bit. Try this one here. There we go. So you can, um, if you want, you can trim these down. There we go. And let's get this one. There we go. And one more. So what we're going to want to do <laughs> is we're going to kind of, what's nice about using the green twigs is you can kind of get them so that they're standing straight and then you could, you would be able to trim them if they didn't. So what we'll do now is we will put the neck on. So let's, actually I'm going to use my trusty Boy Scout knife. Trim that. Let's see if that goes in. It does. So that's good. And let me just... Trim this down a little bit. So that's good. Now we don't want this uh, to be quite as long. So let's make this a little bit shorter. And we'll trim that down as well. Antlers are just a um, just a twig from a uh, Japanese red maple that we have out back, and you'll you'll want to look for you know a twig that has this uh, Y, um, and then some smaller branches coming off of it. And we'll trim this a little bit shorter since we don't want a lot of the single part sticking out, and we'll. That right in there like that. And if you want to get fancy, you could, you know, cut some birch bark and put some ears on or a tail. But there you have it, our uh, birch log reindeer.